Hi everyone, this is Teresa with Thousand S Quilters. Today's demo is on Brother's Edge Joining Foot. This is Brother's Edge Joining Foot. So what you'll notice about this is this handy little blade on the bottom. And this blade is designed to guide you in between the two pieces of fabric that we'll be using today. So this little blade acts as a guide. So what you'll have is the two pieces of fabric that you want to join. I just have two pieces of cotton here and the edge is finished. I've turned this edge in so when I stitch this together uh, the edges are actually finished. They can be finished or you don't have to but that's entirely up to you. When you choose a stitch for this particular foot the best types of stitches that work are stitches that are double sided or they are pretty much the same on both sides. The stitch originates in the center and then it branches off to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right. So stitches that work great are um, like the uh, ladder stitches, those types of things here. Um, the regular blanket stitch is not a good choice because that's a stitch that is flat on one side and all the stitching is to the other side. So you want something, it doesn't have to be even, there's another modification of the ladder stitch here. It can be a star stitch, it can be an heirloom stitch, um, anything that has stitching on both sides. The idea is to create stitching on both sides to hold those two pieces together. So the joining foot is a simple clip-on foot. We're gonna take off our basic foot and we're gonna pop on our edge joining foot. So when I place the fabric in, the fabric is going to go under the foot so that the blade, that center blade, stitches, um, it rides right down the center of those two pieces, right in between those two folds. So the stitch that I'm going to use is this ladder stitch. So we're going to go here and I'm going to select stitch 55. And again, this is a stitch. What will happen is it will stitch down the middle, but it will also go to both sides of center. That's important so that you hold those together. So as I begin here, it's a little slower so you can see. You can see right here where this blade is just comfortably walking right down the center of these two pieces of fabric. And what will happen is it stitches center, but it's going to the left and to the right of center each time it creates a stitch. So this will just give you an idea of what other kinds of stitches you can use. This one is called the star stitch. And you'll notice the similarity is that the stitches, there are some that are going to the left and some that are going to the right. So it doesn't matter that they're not going straight. They can go any direction that you want to, but you do not want a one-sided stitch because it will all stitch on one side. So there's... Oh, I like to go fast. <laughs> so that's another example. And I'm going to stitch one more for you here. Let's do this one, because this will be a fun one to see as well. So the sample here will have a little variety so you can see what different kinds of stitches work really well. So there is an example of how you can join two fabrics together. We started out with a ladder stitch, we converted to a star, and then here's a little leaf stitch. So these two pieces of fabric are joined together. You can do this with finished blocks, you can do it with different types of fabrics, um, use different colors of decorative thread because you definitely are going to see this. So unless you match your thread to the fabric that you're stitching on, um, you can take advantage of using some of these more decorative stitches and put a pretty colored thread on there. So it serves a purpose as to holding fabrics together, but it's also pretty and decorative as well. This video concludes our series on the Brother Specialty Feet. 
If you'd like to know more about any of the fantastic feet that we demo, please feel free to stop by Owl's Nest Quilters for a more detailed demo.